Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads invites you to hear the Sigmund Romberg George Gershwin musical success, Rosalie, starring Gordon McRae and his celebrated guest, Nadine Connor. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another thrilling musical play is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn, and the multitude of other things you use in your daily life. The same railroads that bring you the finest in safe, comfortable, all-weather transportation at low cost. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, Nadine Connor is the Princess Rosalie, and I am Lieutenant Dick Fay, who at this very moment is making the first non-stop supersonic jet plane flight from the United States to the kingdom of... Romanza. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Oh. Shout, shout, shout. The top of the rocket right down the plane. Rosalie, where is the Princess Rosalie? Yeah, don't worry, dear. She'll be here. The American has landed already. He'll be arriving here in the public square any minute. Calmly, calmly, my dear. But what will he think if the entire royal family isn't on hand to welcome him? I wish I could fly across the Atlantic Ocean in six hours. It would be much more fun than being a king. Who's that? Coming into the square. There's only one thing that can bring that many handsome soldiers together. Rosalie. Rosalie's got too many romantic notions. Hand kissing? That's just something she learned last year when she went to Paris. Rosalie hasn't been the same since she made that trip. She's altogether too interested in men. Nonsense. How can she get romantic with all those good-looking hussars to keep her from falling in love? When I lead my regiment bold, they're just like those knights of old, of whom the poet tells. For I'm late, Mother. Our relations with America are very important to us at this moment, Rosalie. Oh, but America is so terribly far away. We don't want to offend this young aviator fellow. Well, I'll be nice to him, Father. What's his name? 
uh, his name. Uh, I'm sure he must have one, but, but it seems to have slipped my mind. His name is Lieutenant Fay, Richard Fay. <gasps> Not Richard Fay. Rosalie, what's the matter? Look, there he comes. <laughs> Your Majesty, our guest of honor, the intrepid aviator, Lieutenant Fay. Well, young man, welcome to the kingdom of Romanza. Uh, so I have a speech here. The, the, the Chancellor prepared for me, but uh, I can't seem to... It's somewhere here. I know I had it. Your uh, Majesties, the gracious welcome of your people has said more than any words can convey. Say, <laughs> that's very good. Here, why can't I ever think of things like that to say? Well, allow me to present the Princess uh, Rose... Rosalie, where are you? Where did that child go? I've been looking forward to meeting the princess, Your Majesty. I've already met one of Romance's citizens in Paris last year. She was the main reason why I made this flight. I wanted to meet her again. Well, that's very romantic, isn't it? Now, who is this girl? She wouldn't tell me, sir. I know she's the most exciting person in the world. I, I know everything about her except her name. Uh, maybe you'll happen across her during the festival. The festival? Yes, we're having one in your honor. Dancing in the streets and all that sort of thing. Over here, we have festivals at the drop of a hat. Why, that's wonderful, Your Majesty. Uh, if you don't mind, I, I'm going to look around and see if I can find that girl. Sweet, sweet seems the world today. I sweet while the beating and hearts beating too. Oh, but be careful, careful what you do. Will I find a certain After all. I promised I would, didn't I? You know, I've been searching for you ever since the dancing began. And now that I've found you, you you've got to tell me who you are. Well, my costume should tell you. I am a peasant girl for today. Ah, uh, uh, that's not enough. <laughs> what else would you have me say? What else? When your eyes look into mine, there's something they would say. Is it no or yes? Surely. Look again and quickly, then your doubts will fly away. If there's secret you tell, words are needed as well. Say so, say you love me, not above me in your heart. Fighting. Resist me, say you've missed me from the start. Say so, for I pray so that it's true. There are just three little words I sigh for. Crazy about them. Three little words I'd die for. Can't live without them. Say so, change. 
change the gray sky to a gay sky ever blue. Say so, I shall say so, I love you. Say so, say you love me, none above me in your heart. From the start, say so, for I pray so that it's true. There are just three little birds I sigh for, crazy about them. Three little birds I'd die for, can't live without them. Say so, so change, change the, the gray, gray sky to a gay sky, sky ever blue. Last year in Paris, I've been in love with you. I, I want you to go back to America with me. Tell me that you'll come, that you love me. I don't have to tell you with words, Dick. There's a better way. Lieutenant Fay, you are the guest of Romanza, but our hospitality can hardly extend to the lips of our princess. Princess? I thought you were just a peasant girl. Well, is it my fault if I'm a princess? Oh, of course not. And you couldn't help playing a little joke on a dumb army pilot. Oh, Dick, please. Rosalie, I command you to return to the palace immediately. Oh, Dick, listen to me, please. Your Majesty, I request permission to take off from my return flight as soon as my ship is ready. Oh, Lieutenant Fay, I I'm sorry about this misunderstanding with the Princess Rosalie. I do not know you are a princess, sir. I met a girl from Omanza, but it seems she doesn't exist. Oh, Dick. Dick. Have I permission to leave, sir? I must return to my post at West Point. You may leave, Lieutenant. Thank you. My compliments, Your Majesty. Princess Rosalie, it was an honor to meet you at last in your native setting. Goodbye. Dick. Oh, there, there, my child. Oh, Father, of course. I think maybe you'll see him again. No, I won't. He's gone for good. Just a moment for Act Two of Rosalie. In what way do you benefit most from the railroads that serve your community? First and most important, of course, is the essential transportation service the railroad provides. I'd say they're our best customer by far. Important taxpayer, good employer, good customer. Those are some of the ways in which the railroads play a vital part in thousands upon thousands of the communities they serve. To get an idea of just how big a part the railroads do play in our national life, aside from their essential transportation services, you should know that last year, the railroads paid out well over $5 billion in wages, well over $3 billion for all the things needed to keep the railroads running, and well over a $1 billion in taxes. Truly, the railroads are good citizens and good neighbors, providing the dependable economical mass transportation 
so essential to our commerce and national defense, creating millions of good jobs, contributing heavily to the support of state and local governments, and consuming a large share of the nation's productive output. Now, here is Act Two of the Lawrence and Lee version of the Gershwin Romberg hit Rosalie, starring Gordon MacRae as Lieutenant Dick Fay and Nadine Connor as the Princess Rosalie. <laughs> pretty disappointing when you find out that a girl you've been in love with, a girl you hope to marry, is really a princess and as unattainable as the moon. So I was glad to get away from the kingdom of Romanza and back to the good old lights and glitter of New York City. When I went to Romanza, I heard many a serenade. Fellows there sing a stanza when they're wooing a pretty but there's one that is better far than any old tune on an old guitar. That's the serenade you hear when you land on a New York pier. Ten thousand steamboats hooting, a million taxis tooting. What a song, what a song, that dear old New York serenade. Just hear those rivets rattling And hear the traffic battling Come along, come along And hear it play Every corner has bands moaning Jazz bands groaning All night long Even on your Thursday shower With their clatter It really doesn't matter, 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 matter So keep your peace and quiet Give me that good old riot. Come along, come along, come along, come along, and hear that New York serenade. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Fay reporting as ordered, sir. Well, Lieutenant, I have a special assignment for you. This afternoon, the Military Academy at West Point is playing host to the royal family of Romanza. What did you say? You're at attention, sir. Oh, yes, sir. I certainly am, sir. The king has asked specifically that you command the Guard of Honor. Oh, Major, please don't make me entertain the Princess Rosalie. These are orders. You're a soldier, sir. Yours not to reason why. Yours but to do... Yes, sir, I know. Or die. <laughs> Lieutenant Fay, it's a pleasure to see you again. Your Majesty, may I extend the welcome of the point to yourself and the Queen and... Uh, you, uh, remember my daughter, Princess Rosalie? Your Highness. Lieutenant. And now, if you please, Lieutenant, we would like to be taken to our quarters. I'm sure the guard can escort you there, Mother. I would like Lieutenant Fay to show me the grounds. I understand uh, there's a walk known as Lover's Lane. Is that correct, Lieutenant? Well, really, Rosalie. Now, my dear, let the child do as she pleases. Run along, Rosalie. Just be back in time for the review. I will, Father. Lieutenant, do you mind? <laughs> From here, Your Highness, you can see one of the battlefields of the American Revolution. It's known as... Oh, Dick, do you really think I made this trip all the way from Romanza to hear a lecture on the historic landmarks of the Hudson River? Why did you come here? To tell you I'm sorry. To tell you that I meant every word I said to you. What? Oh, yes, my darling. Rosalie, do you, do you love me? Oh, yes. Oh, why didn't you say so? I just did. You did? You really did? <laughs> yes, Dick, I really did. Oh, gee, oh, joy, the birds are singing. Because why? Because I am in love. Oh, gee, oh, joy, the bells are ringing. Because why? Because I am in love. And although while I seem in a dream, I never knew 
was so happy. Folks complain that I'm insane because I act so savvy. Oh, gee, oh, joy, the birds are singing. Because why? Because I am in love. Oh, gee, oh, joy, the birds are singing. Because oh, why? Because I am in love. Oh, gee, oh, joy, the bells are ringing. Because oh, why? Because I am in love. And all the news for you. Well, I'm sure it can wait until your father reviews the changing of the guard or whatever they call it over here. Oh, no, it can't possibly wait. Dick and I are sure of it now. Oh, we're in love. Yes, we have been ever since we met in Paris. Your Majesties, I want to marry Rosalie. <laughs> well... Never. Uh, now, really, my dear. <laughs> Rosalie is a princess. Someday she will inherit the throne of Romanza. And as long as Rosalie is a princess, I shall never give my consent. Get off your soapbox, Mother, and let me get to the bottom of this thing. <laughs> Rosalie! Yeah. Well, I'm afraid your mother's right. As long as you're a princess, you and Dick can't get married. Oh, but Father, how can you do that? Now, to... hold your horses. I've got a plan. <laughs> Have you heard anything from your father? Oh, I don't know where he is. He's disappeared. I suppose he's getting ready to go back home to Romanza. The ship sails tomorrow. And this may be our last waltz together. Like eyes of gold, the lanterns glow As you and I sway to and fro of the Academy and guests, His Royal Majesty, the King of Romance. Thank you. Thank you very much. But uh, you didn't give my complete title. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Uh, don't be sorry. I'm not. Starting right now, I'm my Royal Majesty, the ex-King of Romance. Oh. Hush, hush, hush. Let me finish. For years now, I've been the monarch of the most progressively backward kingdom in Europe. And I've been getting sick and tired of it. And I think the kingdom has, too. So I called up my prime minister on the transatlantic telephone to give him my abdication. Why? 
Why did you do it? Well, Mother, you said Rosalie couldn't get married as long as she was a princess. <laughs> but she is no princess if her father isn't a king. So I don't see why these two young people can't go right ahead and, uh, and, uh, and get hitched. Oh, Father. Thank you, Your Majesty. No more Majesty, boy. <laughs> Just call me Dad. No, oh, but, but now, where will we go? What can we do for a living? Simple. I'm going to open up a restaurant. I hear there's a lot more money in that than there is in the king business. Say, Your Majesty, will you give a soldier a special rate on our wedding breakfast? Oh, gee, oh, joy, the birds are singing, because why, because I am in love. Oh, gee, oh, joy, the bells are ringing, because why, because I am in love. And all the while we Nadine Connor will be back in just one moment. And meanwhile, our good thanks to Eleanor Audley, Herb Butterfield, Ben Weldon, and our entire company. Rosalie, with music by Sigmund Romberg and George Gershwin, book and lyrics by P.G. Wodehouse, Ira Gershwin, and William Anthony McGuire was dramatized for the Railroad Hour by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this same time by the American Railroads. Marvin? Joining with the rest of the nation, America's railroads salute the American dairy farmers and the dairy industry, which is celebrating June as Dairy Month. Dairy products today make up 30% of the foods we eat, and America's railroads are proud of the essential role they play in providing the efficient economical transportation needed to bring these healthy, tasty foods to the marketplaces of America. Thank you, Marvin. And now, folks, here again is our charming guest, Miss Nadine Connor. Thank you, Gordon. It was fun being romanced in Romanza. Mm -hmm. oh, where's the show train going next week? Well, we're all set to go to a mythical city called Paris for one of the most delightful musicals we know. Listen. <laughs> Sounds like a beautiful lady will be here. The name of Lucille Norman to help us sing the enchanting music of the Pink Lady. We'll all be listening. Good night, Gordon. Good night, Nadine. As always, you were wonderful. All aboard! Well, dear friends, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so, until next Monday night, and Pink Lady, on behalf of the other members of the cast and of the American Railroads, this is your friend Gordon McRae saying goodbye. <laughs> Rosalie was presented by special arrangement with the Tams Whitmark Music Library, Incorporated. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. This is Marvin Miller saying good night for the American Railroad, and reminding you, our Air Defense Command uses an extensive network of radar to detect possible enemy aircraft. But there are dangerous blind spots in this radar defense system. To cover these gaps, the Air Force has set up the Ground Observer Corps, manned by civilian volunteers, who contribute a few hours of their spare time each week. Thousands of men and women from teenage up are urgently needed for this work. To volunteer your services, write or telephone your nearest civil defense center. And now, keep tuned for your Monday night of music on NBC. Oh.